Commission meeting. This meeting is being recorded, televised, and viewable on SwiftTel Channel 19, ITC Channel 168, or the Brookings County YouTube channel. Approval of minutes. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion second. by Diedrich, second by Vendor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Items to be added to the agenda by commission members or staff? Just my, just my regular staff report, Mr. Chair. Richard doesn't have anything. Invitations for citizens to schedule time on the commission agenda for an item not listed. There's one. Hi. My name is Alan Ostrom. I'm a partner in Car Properties here and located mainly here in Brookings, Brookings County. Um, question in the office and I guess I'm here tonight to express concern that maybe something needs to be looked at um, right now county zoning does not allow for any residential developments inside the county we currently own Green Acres mobile home park in Volga uh, the main park sits on seven acres we have 4.75 acres right on the back side of that that is nothing it's just grass um, I just thought we would like to add more mola homes to that site you know not looking for anything new just looking to expand an existing park uh, when the park was originally built the utility infrastructure there on well water stuff like that we have upgraded all that to rural water um, all the utilities are present that it could be added on to uh, I guess I'm just here to express maybe some we get something on the agenda to look at maybe there needs to be a way to look at that so with all the talk about affordable housing workforce housing uh, just this morning I went on the Century 21 and best choice real estate and I could find three properties in the Brookings County that were under 200,000 uh, I mean obviously that's not going to solve a affordable housing deal you know I could move a brand new mobile home in there and sell it at a hundred grand and everybody would make money you know that's brand new uh, so I'm just here to just ask if that's something that can be looked at maybe conditional use or anything like that um, I try to think of who doesn't benefit out of it and I can't think of anyone there's no residential property that butts up to it um, City of Volga has power there. They're going to sell more electricity. Uh, Northwestern's going to sell more natural gas. Kingbrook's going to sell more water. I'm going to pay you guys more taxes. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a win-win for everybody. I just, I really don't know where the, where the negative in it is. So, I just wanted to go through the proper channels to see if it's something that can be looked at. Um, I don't know if anybody has any questions. This is the property right here that he's inquiring about right to the north of the existing trailer park. So, And directly to the west of there, both those parcels. So, like I say, septic issues, any of that come up, there's plenty of room there to expand, to expand utility if needed. What not? Is that currently on Volga City sewer or not? No, it is currently on the ah, sewer is on septic. Is this property contiguous to the Volga City limits? Uh, M Mr. Chairman, it could be a, a rezoning could be requested to put it into the city since the city limits comes right up there to the corner of it. Did that, that, that answer your question? Commissioner? Yeah, I mean, if you do an annexation, it takes you out of the uh, the county's regulations and put you in the city of August regulations, and I don't know if you've researched that at all. Uh, I talked to the uh, city manager over there. Oh, joint jurisdiction, Volga doesn't have any of that set up. So, but uh, we haven't really explored that real just because I mean looking at it 
they don't have water, sewer, or anything up to that point. So I'm kind of questioning what the advantage to being in their city limits would be when they, you know, there's no other services that they could provide us. I guess the advantage would be you can possibly expand the trailer park. Sure. I think you, you should look seriously at that rather than the county trying to change its regulations to satisfy one particular use. I, well, I agree with you. There's <laughs> there's no loser, so to speak, other than the fact that it opens up a portal for us to have further requests for it that yeah. we probably wouldn't be as inclined to address. This one, because it's contiguous to the city limits, it's contiguous for an annexation. And I, I, I prefer you look at that and really research that. All right. Does anybody else have any questions on it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other citizens that would like to schedule a time on the commission's agenda for an item not listed? Seeing none, disclosure of conflicts of interest relationships, relationships to applicants or ex parte communication. I need to recuse for item uh, CU016. Anybody else? Seeing none approval of agenda, is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Vanderwall. Aye. Second by Gatsky. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. I'll now call this meeting to order and would like to welcome those in attendance at tonight's meeting. The Brookings County Planning Commission is a nine-member commission whose function is to recommend approval or disapproval of land use plans, zoning ordinances, subdivision plats, and amendments thereof to the Brookings County Commission. The commission makes its recommendations based upon the adopted comprehensive plan for the physical development of the unincorporated areas of Brookings County. As a matter of policy, all motions are made to be made in the positive. After a motion is moved and seconded, it is open for debate. Those supporting the motion shall in turn give their reasons. Those opposing the motion shall then offer their reasons. After everyone has been given a chance to be heard, the commission shall recommend approval or disapproval based on the testimony and information presented. A simple majority vote of a quorum of members of the Planning and Zoning Board in attendance is required to forward a recommendation. Agenda item 2022 plat 030, plat of Lockwood's Conservation Easement Tract 1 in the southeast one fourth of Section 11, Township 111, North Range 51W of the 5th Primary in Brookings County, South Dakota. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Diedrich. Second by Troyan. Richard, would you read the staff report? Yes, plat 2022, plat 030, uh, Pat. Rick Lockwood is plotting off um, 138.29 acres from the 160 acres they're owned uh, for a conservation easement. Uh, the balance of the 21.71 acres is grassland and farm, farm buildings, and it does meet the platting requirements of the 2016 comprehensive plan. This is the platted area going into the conservation easement. This is where the buildings are located in this part here. And this is 204th Street, um, west of Bruce, along the oil there, right next to the river. Here's the parcel with the um, platted area in red noted on there. Here's the farm buildings and grassland there. It just shows the beacon map of it. And that's all that I have. I don't believe the applicant is here this evening. <coughs> Thank you, Richard. If the applicant is not here, we'll move to the public hearing portion of it. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing. Is there any additional comments or questions from members of the board? Mr. Gatsky. My only, que my only question is, Will they lose any housing eligibility with that? What's the buildings? Is that considered a house site? 
I'd have to go back and look at the site if that's a build if there was a house there or not. But that existing Bar shed. twenty one acres where that is, if there was a house there, there would be there. But in the conservation easement, there would be no building eligibility right. there. I understand that. Yep. Thank you. Any other any additional comments or questions from members of the board? Seeing and hearing none, Richard, just call the vote. Bartley. Aye. Paulson. Aye. Dietrich. Aye. Kleinjohn. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyan. Aye. Erickson. Aye. And Ford. Aye. Motion passed. Moving on, agenda item 2022, plat 031. Plat of lots one, two, three, and four of CKS Partners, second edition, and 34th Avenue ROW, all in the southwest one fourth of section 29, Township 110, North Range 49W of the 5th Pymerian, Brookings, South Dakota. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Vanderwall. Second. Second by Paulson. Richard would read staff report. 2022 plat 031 uh, CKS partners are subdividing the 155.56 acres they own into lot one, which contains 81.9 acres. Lot two contains 60 acres. Lot three is 1.7, and lot four is 8.4 acres. Uh, lots three and four are not large enough to build a residence on, and all of the parcels are located in the floodplain. And the platting does meet the requirements of the 2016 comprehensive plan. And it is located in the joint jurisdictional area, just on the edge, east edge of the Brookings city limits. This is the plat. Lots one and two, lots three and four. It's mainly, these are grassland areas. Maybe a little farm ground on there, but mainly that's these are grass grassy areas. Here's the beacon map with the lots laid over top of them. Two larger ones, the two smaller lots there. Here's the beacon <coughs> map. Right now it is in two forties and an eighty, and they're combining that all together into the four lots. That's all that I have, and the applicant is. I don't believe the applicant is here either this evening. If the applicant is not here, we'll move to the public portion of the hearing. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing. Move to the board for additional comments and questions. Richard, why why are they putting those two pieces into a smaller piece if they can't build a house on it? They're just grassy areas. The oh, other larger ones could be going to a conservation easement of that oh. spot. They could use them for pasture or put outbuildings on there for livestock production. Thank you. And also, um, on the west portion of this, it does have the city requirements for the right of way. So there is the right of way is wide enough. If the city would ever develop that or anything along 34th Avenue, so, um, so the city did sign off on that and the township uh, for the gravel road on the south. So, is there any other additional comments or questions from members of the board? Seeing and hearing none, Richard, would you call the vote? Paulson, aye. Dietrich, aye. Kleinjohn, aye. Vanderwall, aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyan. Aye. Erickson. Aye. Bartley. Aye. And Ford. Aye. Motion passes. Moving on, agenda item 2022, Plat 032, Plat of Lot 2, Wellfield Edition, in the southeast one fourth of Section 21, Township 110, North Range 51W of the 5th Primary Reading, Brookings County, South Dakota. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Diedrich. Second. Second by, who had that, Paulson? No. Second by Paulson. Richard, would you read staff report? Yes, 2022, Plat 032. Uh, Janice Oynas is planting off a 
13,759 square foot area, which is uh, 0.31 acres, and it's going to be used for additional land for the city of Alga for their well fields uh, from the 160 acres they own. And it is um, currently in the wellhead protection area for the city of Alga, so that'll fit right in there, and it does meet the platting requirements of the comprehensive plan. This is the area, small narrow strip right here on the east side of their quarter, um, 212th Street on the south and 463rd on the west. Just the beacon map with the plat overlay on it. This is right down here is the wellhead or the proposed strip. Volga wells are over in this situation area right here also, so it adjoins that area. Um, applicant is not here this evening, so it does meet the platting requirements, and that's all that I have. Thank you, Richard. If the applicant's not here, we'll move to the public portion of the hearing. Is there anybody on the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing. Is there any additional comments or questions from members of the board? Pretty simple on this one. Richard, would you call a vote? Dietrich. Aye. Kleinjohn. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyan. Aye. Erickson. Aye. Bartley. Aye. <coughs> Paulson. Aye. And Ford. Aye. Motion passed. Agenda item 2022, plat 033, plat of lots 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7, 14A of North Grove Edition in the southeast one-fourth of Section 11, Township 111, North Range 50W of the 5th Primary in Brookings County, South Dakota. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Tryon. Second. Second by Bartley. Richard, would you read the staff report? Yes. 2022 plat 033, uh, James A. Peterson is platting off additional land to each of the tenants on the west side of the North Grove subdivision uh, to extend their lots to the west side of the shelter belt. Um, the plat does meet the planning requirements of the 2016 comprehensive plan. This is all the North, North Grove addition here. That's one through six and lot 14A. This is the original lot line for that development right here. It's kind of hard to see its light, but where all the circles are right here. That was the original lot line, so they're extending it to the west over to here. A little easier to see on the beacon map. The light blue line is where the original lot line was. So it's extending it out to the west side of the trees, giving the lot owners a little addition, additional footage there. is the beacon map at the original lot line area and all all the lot all the owners have signed this plat all the owners of these lots in North Grove had to sign the plat also so that's why all the names are listed on there and this is the part they're adding on to their lots that's all that I have and the applicant is not here this evening the applicant's not here. We'll move to the public portion of the hearing. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing and move back to the board for additional comments or questions. Seeing and hearing none, Richard, would you call the vote? Klein John. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyan, aye. Erickson, aye. Bailey or Bartley, excuse aye. me, Paulson, aye, Dietrich, aye, and for <coughs> aye, motion passed. Agenda item twenty twenty two plat zero three four, plat of block one Hartman edition in the northeast one fourth of section twenty three, township one twelve North Range fifty W the fifth prime reading, Brookings County South Dakota. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Diedrich. Second. Second by Vanderwall. Richard, would you read the staff report? 
Yes. 2022 Plat 034, uh, the Amber Ann Hartman Estate uh, by Alan Hartman. We're platting off the existing 22.05 acres of a building site from the balance of the farmland. And it does meet the comprehensive plan of the 2016 of Brookings County. This is the plat. This is the northeast quarter. This is the plat of where the building site is. Goes around the perimeter of the trees. Right there, they do own the southwest, southeast quarter also, but they're just platting this off of the the northeast. So breaking it off at the quarter line. This shows the beacon map going around the outside of the building site. And that's all that I have. And the applicant is not here this evening. Since the applicant is not here, we'll move to the public portion of the hearing. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing and move to the board for additional comments or questions. Seeing and hearing nothing from the board, Richard, would you call the vote? Gatsky. Aye. Troyan. Aye. Erickson. Aye. Bartley. Aye. Paulson. Aye. Dietrich. Aye. Finejohn. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. And Ford. Aye. Motion passes. Moving on, agenda item 2022, plat 035, plat of lot one, Knowles edition, and government lot three and the southeast one-fourth of the northeast one-fourth of Section 18, Township 112, North Range 47W of the 5th Primary in Brookings County, South Dakota. Is there a motion? Motion by Gatsky. Second. Second by Paulson. Richard Woodrude, staff report. Yes, 2022, Plat 035. Uh, Jerome Knowles is platting off an existing 20.7-acre uh, building site from the 80 acres of farmland that he owns. And it does meet the platting requirements of the 2016 Comprehensive Plan. This is the plat. This is the proposed driveway going up. Do have an easement across that for access to the farmland on either side. Up around the, the building site, uh, borders to the west on Oak Lake, up in the northeastern part of the county. Here's the beacon map showing the, the plat outline of it. Easement so they could access the farm ground on the north and the south side of the driveway. So this shows the beacon map. And that's all that I have. I don't believe the applicant is here this evening. The applicant is not here. We'll move to the public hearing portion of it. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing. Was there any additional comments or questions from members of the board? Seeing and hearing none, Richard, would you read the findings of the facts? Uh, we have no, none, wait. but I'll read. I'll call take, the vote. I'll call the vote. Hey, there we go. Tryon? Aye. Erickson? Aye. Bartley? Aye. Paulson? Aye. Dietrich? Aye. Kleinjohn? Aye. Vanderwall? Aye. Gatsky? Aye. And Ford? Aye. Motion passes. We will now convene as the Brookings County Board of Adjustment. The Board of Adjustment is a nine member board which has the power to hear requests for variances, conditional uses, and appeals from the non ministerial decisions of the zoning officer. The concurring vote of two thirds of the full board membership. Of the board six votes is necessary for approval of a variance or an appeal of the zoning officer the concurring vote of a simple majority of those board members present and voting is necessary for, for approval of a conditional use permit in accordance with robert's rules of order we require a motion to approve or a request before the request can be debated as a matter of policy all motions are to be made in a positive the board under specific powers granted to it by the state shall authorize Variances from the zoning requirements where special conditions existing on the land will result in unnecessary hardship for the applicant. 
financial disadvantage to the property owner shall not constitute proof of an unnecessary hardship. Agenda item 2022, variance 021. John Knutson has made an application 2022, variance 021, to the Brookings County Board of Adjustment for a variance Article 11, Section 11.01, A Agricultural District Area Regulation Number 2, Front Yard. The minimum front yard depth of the front yard shall be 100 feet. A corner lot shall have two front yards. The property is described as the south 213 feet of the west 452 feet of the east 1128 feet of the southwest one-fourth of Section 9 Township 110 North Range 48W Alton Township located at 48034 210th Street, White, South Dakota 57276. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Vanderwall. Second. Second by Gatsky. Richard, would you read the staff report? Yes, 2022 variant 021. John Knudsen has applied for a front yard variance to build a 24 foot by 28 foot uh, garage addition, addition 70 feet from the center of 210th Street, a variance of 63 feet. The required setback is 133 feet from the center of the road. Uh, 210th Street is an Alton Township gravel road. And the proposed addition will meet the side and rear setback requirements. Uh, the current garage was built in the 50s uh, prior to the current setback zoning requirements. Uh, it will be screened by mature trees and other built, or existing mature trees on the south of it and trees and buildings to the north of the garage. And the garage will be screened by the evergreens along the road. Public notices were published in the Brookings Register on November 22nd and 29th and the white Tri-City Star on the 24th and December 1st, 2022. Letters were sent to the adjoining landowners and the Alton Township Chairman and Clerk. There's the variance application. A site plan. Here's the beacon map showing the building site with some some of these trees aren't there. They got uh, blown out the spring during the duration, but there is some existing trees that will be there and growing up. This is the existing garage. This is where the addition will be going right here. Other mature trees, and there's some other outbuildings back here, chicken house and a couple other ones. So, This is some photos looking to the east of his driveway. This is just looking to the west of the proposed garage and the addition are going there. I was just looking towards the west of that. He did just start staking the area out and found out he needed a variant, so then he stopped on that. And um, till tonight's meeting, and this is just looking into the towards the rest of the yard. You can see the other buildings and mature trees that are loca located to the north side of the garage. Uh, the applicant is here this evening, and that's all that I have. Thank you, Richard. Would the applicant like to Please step forward here. Uh, clear to state your name to the board. John Knudsen. Do you got anything to add to Richard's report? No. To members of the board at this time. No. Hang out for a minute there. I'll move to the public portion of the hearing here quick. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing and hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, and I'll close the public portion of the hearing. Is there any additional comments or questions from members of the board? Seeing none, Richard, would you call a vote? Or we'll read the findings of facts? We'll go over the findings of facts. Yeah, geez, I'm off tonight. You were... God. Brookings County Zoning Variance 2022 Variant 021, an application for a variance having been filed with the Brookings County Zoning Commission, acting as a Brookings County Board of Adjustment. A copy of the such application being made by John Knudsen regarding the following real property. The south 213 feet of the west 452 feet of the east 1,128 feet of the southwest quarter of Section 9, Township 110 North, Range 48 West, Alton Township. Located at 48034 210th Street, White, South Dakota. 
after due notice of public hearing have been held on the application on the 6th day of December 2022. Number one, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment hereby finding that the strict application of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance would produce undue hardship, that such hardship is not shared generally by other properties in the same district in the same vicinity, that the authorization of such variances will not be of such a substantial detriment to adjacent property and the character of the district will not be changed by the granting of the variance. And that the granting of, the, of such variance is based upon reasonable reasons of demonstrable and exceptional hardship as distinguished from variations for the purpose of convenience, profit, and caprice. Number two, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment. Further finding that the condition or situation of the property concern or the intended use of the property is not so general or reoccurring in nature as to make reasonable practical the formulation of general regulation to be adopted as an amendment to the zoning ordinance. Number three, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further finding that the written application of the petitioner demonstrates that special conditions and circumstances exist which are peculiar to the land, structure, or buildings in the same district. That literal interpretation of the provisions of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance would deprive the applicant of rights commonly enjoyed by other properties in the same district under the terms of the ordinance that the special conditions and circumstances do not result from the actions of the applicant and that the granting of the variance requested will not confer on the applicant any special privilege that is denied by the ordinance to other lands, structures, or buildings in the same district. Number four, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further finding that the reasons sets forth in the application justify the granting of the variance and that the variance is a minimum variance that will make possible reasonable use of the land, building, or structure that granting of the variance will be in harmony with the general purpose and the intent of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance and will not be injurious to the neighborhood or otherwise detrimental to the public welfare. Number five, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further determines and conditions this variance upon the following special conditions or safeguards. A, existing garage was built in the 50s as noted on the Brookings County Equalization Records. The garage and garage addition will be screened by Evergreens. C. No correspondence has been received from Alton Township. The Brookings County Board of Adjustment believes two thirds vote of its full membership hereby grants the above petitioner for the above described real property as follows to build a 24 foot wide by 28 foot long garage addition, 70 feet from the center of 210th Street and Alton Township Road, a variance of 63 feet. This variance is specifically conditioned upon initial and continued compliance with all the conditions and safeguards in five above and upon compliance with all applicable provisions of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance. If approved, the Brookings County Zoning Director is authorized to issue any required building permits for construction consistent with the terms of this variance. If this variance is not used within three years of the date granted, it shall be invalid. Dated the 6th day of December, 2022. Do we need to fix the typo on 5B? Screened by Evergreens instead of screen B Evergreens. Thank you. Any other additions or corrections to the findings of facts? Mr. Chair, I concur with the findings of facts. Thank you, Mr. Vanderwall. Richard Jacobo. Erickson. Aye. Bartley. Aye. Paulson. Aye. Dietrich. Aye. Kleinjohn. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyan. Aye. And Ford. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thanks, John. You can. We got some paper here for you. You can stop by tomorrow and pick up your building permit if you'd like. Are you ready? Just want to speed this one up. You can go for it. You might just have to wait. Whoop. Agenda item twenty twenty two variant zero two two. Don and Claire, Don and Carol Cleland have made an application. Twenty twenty two variant zero two two to the Brookings County Board of Adjustment for a variance. Article 4, District Requirements, Chapter 4.03, LP, Lake Park District, Section 4.03.03, .03 .03, Density Area, 
in yard regulation, minimum front yard and minimum rear yard. The property is described as lot 73 and the east half of lot 74 of the Lake Ponset Heights first edition in the southwest one fourth of section five township 112 North Range 52W Laketon Township. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Deidre. Second. Second by Trillian. Richard, would you read the staff report? Yes. Twenty twenty two variance zero two two. Don and Carol Collin have applied for variance to build a twenty four foot wide by twenty six foot long detached garage on a non lake front lot twelve feet from the road and twenty two feet from the rear lot line. The variance of thirteen feet from the road and three feet on the rear lot line. The required setbacks for a non lake front lot are twenty five feet from the road and twenty five feet from the rear lot line. The cement was a garage or the garage was poured. And they were using it as a parking pad and will now like to construct a garage on that. The back lot is across the road from the lake cabin located at 114 South Lake Drive, Arlington, South Dakota on Lake Ponset. The size of the back lot, back lot is 60 by 60 and the width of the road is 40 feet. And the garage will line up with the adjoining structures and is smaller than size in the adjoining structures also. Things to consider in the shape and the size of the lot as Lake Ponset Heights first edition subdivision was platted on September 1st, 1922, prior to the current Lake Park zoning ordinance requirements. And it does meet the comprehensive plan for the future land use development on page 58 of the Brookings County Comprehensive Plan. Letters were sent to the adjoining landowners, the Laketon Township Chairman and Clerk, and public notices were published in the Brookings Register on November 22nd and 29th, 2022, and the Arlington Sun on November 24th and December 1st, 2022. Here's the variance application. The site plan. It's just the plat, the original plat. This is the lots right here, marked in yellow. Uh, road right here marked 40 feet, and they're House is about right in 48 and 49, right in that area. This is the back lot right here, marked in yellow. There are residences right here. Some photos just looking from the road towards the south at their, where the proposed garage would be. This is looking from the south towards north, towards their cabin. This is looking um, towards the east. The wheel is at the north edge of the lot, 12 feet from the property line. And the edge of the garage, the wheel is at the property line, excuse me. You can see the garage is a little shorter than the neighboring one on the front and also shorter on the back side also. And property, real property line is back down here right in that area. This is the front. This is the, the south edge of the road. This is the north edge of the road right here. This is a little orange stake right in this right here. It's kind of hard to see. Matches, goes down behind the fill area. Comes down to another post that's right here, and this is the rear lot line right here, going line to the county right away. Uh, that's all that I have, and the applicant is here this evening, so. Please step forward. Introduce yourself into the mic. Do you have anything to add to Richard's report? No, I don't. Any questions from members of the board at this time? Sit tight for a second. I'll move on to the public portion of the hearing. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing and hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing. Is there any additional comments or questions from members of the board? findings of facts yes Brookings County this I'll just read the highlighted areas I won't um, read through the whole document as I did that on the previous one Brookings County zoning variance 2022 variance 022 
application for a variance have been filed with the Brookings County Zoning Commission, acting as a Brookings County Board of Adjustment, a copy of the application being attached here too. Such application be made by Don and Carol Cleland regarding the following real property as follows. Lot 73 in the east one half of lot 74 of Lake Ponset Heights, first edition in the southwest one fourth of section five, township 112 north, range 52 west, Laketon Township. <laughs> After due notice, a public hearing have been held on the application on the 6th day of December, 2022. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further determines and conditions this variance upon the following special conditions or safeguards. A, Lake Ponset Heights first edition subdivision was platted on September 1st, 1922, prior to the current Lake Park zoning ordinance requirements. B, the lot is 60 by 60. Should be C. No correspondence has been received from Laketon Township, the Brookings County Brookings County Board of Adjustment, at least two thirds vote of its full membership, hereby grants the petitioner a variance for the above described real property as follows. Build a 24 foot wide by 26 foot wide, detached garage 12 feet from the road and 22 feet from the rear property line. This variance is specifically conditioned upon initial and continued compliance with all the conditions and safeguards in five above, upon compliance with all applicable provisions of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance. If approved, the Brookings County Zoning Director is authorized to issue any required building permits for construction consistent with the terms of this variance. If this variance is not used within three years of the date granted, it shall be invalid. Dated this sixth day of December. Is there any additions or corrections to the findings of facts? Just a quick question on the Bill 24 wide by 26 long. Do we have anything as far as sidewall requirements on this? There was no, no request to make it larger than 14 feet, so. Right, no, it's going to be 9 feet, I believe. Or 9 feet, okay. Yep, and it's under the 2,000 square foot size requirement, so. Thank you. I concur with the findings of fact. Thank you, Mr. Bartley. That being said, Richard, would you call the vote? Bartley. Aye. Paulson. Aye. Dietrich. Aye. Kleinjohn. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyan. Aye. Erickson. Aye. And Ford. <coughs> Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Got a sheet of paper here, and then you can stop by tomorrow or next spring when they're ready for your building permit. Thank you. How many buyers are going to ask you? <laughs> this is going to be a hard one. Agenda item 2022 CU016. Neil Troyan has made an application 2022 CU016 to the Brookings County Board of Adjustment for a conditional use. Article 4, District Requirements, Chapter 4.03, LP Lake Park District, Section 4.03.02, Conditional Use. This is permit number six, accessory buildings with a sidewall greater than 14 feet or more than 2,000 square feet and a used accessory building greater than 120 square feet. The property is described as lot 21A of Al Mar Lake Henrik Edition in government lot six and section 28 in government lot five of section 21. Township 112 North, Range 47W, Lake Hendricks Township. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Diedrich. Second. Second by Paulson. Richard, would you read the staff report? Yes. <coughs> 2022 CU016, Neil Troyan has applied for Lake Park District conditional use to build an accessory building 
36 foot wide by 64 feet long with a 14 foot sidewall, which was 2,304 square feet um, with a 12 foot wide by 64 foot long covered deck and, and a bathroom inside. The proposed structure we use for storage of vehicles, boats, mowers, and other personal items. And the proposed access route building relocated and it's on a large lake lot with 39,256 square feet will meet the setback requirements of 75 feet from the highest known watermark, 25 feet from the road, and 8 feet from the side property lines. Things are considered the shape and the size of the lot and the lay of the land um, and the building location. Public notices were published in the Brookings Register on November 22nd and 29th, 2022, and the White Tri-City Star on November 24th and December 1st, 2022. Letters were sent to the adjoining landowners, Lake Hendricks Township Chairman and Clerk. Here is the conditional use application. Here's the site plan. This is the plat of the property. Plat 21A right here. Beacon map, the proposed pad right here, the building area. Some photos just looking east along 210th Street from the driveway. This is looking back towards the west there. This is looking down the driveway towards the lot, towards the lake, looking south. Um, nice, had it all staked out. So building location size, this would be the north, north side of the building stake over here on the south side this would be on the west side west corners this shows the south a little more clearer view right here this would be the edge of the deck excuse me right there this is just looking uh, from the lake back up towards the building area and this is the 75 feet from the highest known watermark that is as far south as it could go which is also right out right there where that is just looking back from the looking from the east side towards the west towards the pad uh, that's all that I have and the applicant is happen to be here this evening so would the applicant please come forward sit down and clearly state your name <coughs> Neil do you have anything to add to Richard's report no he did a very thorough job is there any questions from members of the board at this time not yet Okay, well, we'll hold off on the questions here. We'll move to the public portion of the hearing quick. Is there anybody in the audience that is for this? Seeing, hearing none, is there anybody in the audience that is opposed to this? Seeing, hearing none, I'll now close the public portion of the hearing. Is there any additional comments or questions from members of the board? Don't want to make it bigger? Last chance. I'm pushing my luck already. <laughs> Seeing no comments or questions from members of the board, Richard, would you read the findings of the facts? Yes, Brookings County Conditional Use Permit 2022 CU016. <coughs> Application for a conditional use permit having been filed with the Brookings County Zoning Commission, acting as a board of adjustment. Copy of the application being attached here too. Such application being made by Neil Troyan regarding the following real property. Lot 21A of LMR Lake Kendricks Edition in Government Lot 6 in <coughs> Section 28 and Government Lot 5 in Section 21, Township 112 North, Ridge 47 West, Lake Kendricks Township. After due notice, a public hearing have been held on the application on the 6th day of December 2022. Number one, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment hereby finding that it is empowered to grant such a conditional use permit under the following sections of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance. Article 4, District Requirements, Chapter 4.03, LP Lake Park District, Section 4.0302, Conditional Use Permit Number 6, and further finding that the granting of this conditional use will not adversely affect the public interest. Number 2, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further finds and certifies that the following specific rules governing the conditional use request have been complied with, none stated. Number three, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further finds that satisfactory provisions and arrangements have been made concerning the following are applicable. 
a entrance and exits entry and exit to the property and proposed structure thereon with particular reference to automotive and pedestrian safety and convenience traffic flow control and access in case of fire or catastrophe main entrance will be off 200th street b off street parking and loading areas were required with particular attention to items in a above and economic noise glare or other effects of the conditional use on adjoining properties or properties generally in the district no on-street parking allowed c utilities refuge and service areas with reference to locations availability and compatibility um, we just this is our standard one just a dumpster service or do you have plan on having a burning barrel or i've been doing off-site i don't know what the uh, requirements are there I, I don't see any dumpsters okay anywhere around there but None stated. D. Screening and buffer, screening and buffer, reference to type, dimension, or character. None stated. E. Signs, if any, and proposed exterior lighting with reference to glare, traffic safety, economic effect, and compatibility and harmony of the properties in the district. None stated. F. Requirements for yards and other open spaces. None stated. G. General compatibility with adjacent properties and other properties in the district. Comprehensive plan is met for the Lake Park District. H, the roads providing access to the property are adequate to meet the transportation demands of the prop proposed conditional use. The Board of Adjustment may require the applicant to enter into a written contract with any affected township or other government unit regarding the upgrading or continued maintenance of any roads for the conditional use requested prior to the issue, issuance of a conditional use. None stated. J, any required notifications to law enforcement or the fire department. None stated. J, any safety inspections required. <coughs> None stated. Number four, the Brookings County Board of Adjustment further determines and conditions this conditional use permit upon the following additional specific conditions or safeguards. A, the lake lot is 39,256 square feet and all setbacks will be met. B, the building will be used for storage of vehicles, boats, mowers, and other personal items. The Brookings County Board of Adjustment by at least majority vote of its member full membership present. Hereby grants the petitioner a conditional use permit for the above described or property as follows. Build a 36 foot wide by 64 foot long, 2,304 square feet accessory building with a 14 foot sidewall with the bathroom for storage of vehicles, boats, mowers, and other personal items with a 12 foot wide by 64 foot long covered deck. This conditional use permit is specifically conditioned upon a initial and continued compliance with all the requirements and conditions in three and four above upon compliance with all applicable provisions of the Brookings County Zoning Ordinance. The Brookings County Zoning Director is, if approved, is authorized to issue any required building permits for construction consistent with the requirements of the conditional use permit. If this conditional use permit is not used within three years of the date granted, it shall be invalid, dated the sixth day of December, 2022. Is there an additional Comments or corrections to the finding of facts. I concur with your finding of fact. Thank you, Mr. Gatsky. Richard, would you call vote? Paulson. Aye. Dietrich. Aye. Kleinjohn. Aye. Vanderwall. Aye. Gatsky. Aye. Troyant. Whoop, excuse me. Storhog. <laughs> Aye. Uh, Erickson. Aye. Bartley. Aye. And Ford. Aye. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on, agenda item 13, department reports. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Number one, it is winter weather. People need to start getting their winter weather driving habits in. And uh, contrary to what Chevrolet likes to advertise, Chevrolet C10s do not float very well. We had one go into Lake Campbell. Just the other day, it's... He wasn't in the middle. He was about six feet off the floor. I'd assume he was trying to take a picture. Once again, once again, Chevrolet C10s do not float. So you, you might want to check the depth of the ice before you put your truck out there, is, is all I'm saying. 
<clears throat> Number two, we, me and Richard both went down on November 22 to a pipeline meeting. Public Utilities Commission had a public hearing on the CO2 carbon pipeline that's proposed to run from Aurora, our Valero ethanol plant down into Illinois, which is where it would end up at. And um, there, was, there was a lot of concerns, obviously, a lot of public don't like the issue, and, and, but it was a public hearing just like we, we hold here. And it was done very professionally, and uh, everyone was allowed their five minutes to speak, just like we allow. And some of the main issues is, is that was brought up, well, eminent domain, ain't no one in heck going to do anything to my land. Eminent domain cannot be determined by the Public Utilities Commission. That would end up in circuit court, and there are laws on eminent domain that would have to be enforced one way or the other. The pipe would be buried five feet in the ground. Typically, the, the bare minimum for any kind of uh, liquid type pipes is three feet. So they're proposing to go two additional feet into the ground. They're going to have a 50 foot easement, is what they're going for on the properties. Pressure at 1200 psi, which is, you know, pretty, pretty good thing. And then they talked about uh, meeting all the federal requirements. We had some Brookings County citizens, you know, speak out against it, and two organizations spoke for it. And I guess the bottom line from from this board, the only way the zoning board is going to be involved in the in the pipeline is going to be doing things like lay down yards and, and that. The the pipeline is regulated by the federal pipeline hazardous the. Federal Pipeline Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, part of, the, part of the Department of Transportation. And then, of course, the state of South Dakota Public Utilities Commission is the one that gives the state permit. So, you know, they're, they're, at the public hearing, there was people talking about moratoriums. There's another pipeline going in South Dakota over, over to our west. A couple counties did in place moratoriums on them, and now they're in federal court where I'm sure the feds are going to explain to them. You, county, county commissioners have a lot of power, but they do not trump the, the federal laws when it comes to some of these things. So we got to be careful. I'm not pro-pipeline. I'm not anti-pipeline. All I can tell you is this board, we do have a pipeline section in our ordinance that we will enforce to, to our ability. But the, any of the discussions about the pipelines, pros and cons, probably need to be at the county commission level and not the county planning, planning board. All we would be doing is, like we do for wind towers or any other public utility, the lay down yards and the, the infrastructure type, type stuff. So just, you know, we, we're not going to have a lot to do with it. Our comprehensive plan, it was brought to my attention today. We was, we was talking about future commercial uses, and Richard got a call, and the discussion, well, our, the way our comp plan, comprehensive plan is written right now is we want everything on South Dakota 30, US 14, those, those commercial roads. And we looked, but old Highway 77 is not on that. And I can tell you, any discussion I have had in the last 20 years on any development outside this city outside the, in the county is going to be up that corridor, up the, up the old 77 corridor. So that's something we're going to have to take a serious look at. Do we want to amend the comprehensive plan and add that 77 corridor, or do we not in the future? This isn't something we're going to do today, obviously. But. And um, you got any, anything, Richard? Excuse me. I just handed out the 2023 uh, meeting dates for the year. Um, Meeting in July, you'll have to look on um, to see if we want to schedule that a week later, if that would work for everybody due to the 4th of July holiday. Um, so that's something we can address next year. We're just bringing that to your attention to think about that. So, Thank you. And last but not least, Luke, would you like to give us any words of wisdom? Uh, you stated everything really well about the pipeline. And... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for listening. You can hang up now. We're going to talk bad about you. Uh, yeah. 
One other comment, Mr. Hill, we as a county signed down, Brookings County signed down with the PUC for as an interested party, so we will get all the information that comes down from the PUC to Brookings County. Uh, and Bob is, is Mr. Hill's in charge of that. And, and uh, we do have the books. If anyone's interested, and this includes the public out there, listen to us. Yeah. If you want to see the plans on this carbon pipeline, stop by the office. Second floor, city county building. We got the big book sitting out there. You're welcome to look through anything that you want to look at. We're, we're, we're not hiding anything. Brookings County is not hiding anything. This is a, going to be a federal decision on this pipeline. And, and part, of the, part of the federal requirements, you know, they've got things like public awareness and, and all that. And so. Yeah, I just wanted to note it to the public that we are an interested party and we yep. signed on with the PUC to get all their information. As we, they get it, we get it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's the end of my report, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Are there any, any kind of executive session? No, sir. You need to do your health committee. Oh, yes. So next month we'll have to re-elect chair and vice chair. Any volunteers for a subcommittee, for a nominating committee? Mr. Kleinjohn volunteered. Mr. Kleinjohn volunteered. So did Mr. Vanderwald, didn't he? Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be it then. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion by Diedrich, second by Bartley. Meeting adjourned.